This video shows how to measure signal to noise ratios of a weak signal. Uh, this is a recording from some microwave band with a beacon and the idea is to compare the signal to noise ratio for this beacon from time to time after having done changes to the microwave equipment. The file is only 3 seconds long, so it repeats over and over again infinitely. Uh, uh, note that the system is uncalibrated, filters not calibrated, it means that the background noise is not flat. Uh, so uh, to measure noise we first place us a little bit on one side of the signal. I can go here and change that from 7 to let's say 11 that is by pressing plus a couple of times and then I press the arrow key once and it takes some time because I'm drawing the average of 5 spectra, the 5 here, but now we are uh, on the noise and you can see the noise is much smoother. To measure the noise level here uh, I run the S-meter graph much slower and now you can see there is a yellow trace and a white trace. The yellow is the RMS noise level and the white is the peak level within the 32 points of each pixel. And you can see the pattern here because uh, this is a repeating recording, so it's not a real noise. I switch off the peak level because it's not interesting and here we have the uh, noise on one side of the signal and I read out what the value is by pressing the mouse, moving right and releasing it. It's minus 99.23. And then I press the arrow key twice, the opposite arrow key, once, twice. So now I am on the other side of the signal because there is a slope on the noise here. And you can also see the noise varies by time, with time in a slightly different way. Now I can clear the graph by clicking on one of its borders. And here we have the noise on one side. And here we have the noise on the other side. 99.23 or 99.22. Uh, 24 this is. So the average is minus 99.23. I enter that here. Minus 99.23. Like that. Enter. Now when I click the noise floor on one side I read 0. And I click the noise floor on the other side and I also read 0. Uh, with some small decimals. So back on the arrow key to get on the signal. Like that. And here comes the signal. And I can clear the mouse readout thing. So of course the noise floor here. Zero. Uh, and the signal. It is 10.38. So signal plus noise divided by noise is 10.38 dB in this case. For a real signal uh, it would vary with time in a different way. Uh, the noise floor would average out to be more precise for a longer time. Uh, a real signal is going to have QSB and also keying, so the meaning of the average power might be a little 
uncertain. But to compare things, one could take this average over, let's say, 10 minutes to have the average level with the variations of QSB and so forth. For these measurements, it's very essential that all of the signal is within the passband and that the passband is always the same. Or you can measure the width of the passband, of course, and then compensate for that to calibrate your readings in dB per hertz, that is for one hertz bandwidth.